Hey everybody. So, you know, as I said, I was, uh, <clears throat> I got hit with, uh, looking into weapons and lightning came to mind. So I'm doing some research on how lightning is created. Uh, so yeah, it's made lightning is created when large enough electrical charges builds up in a cloud and overcomes the insulating properties of the air. This results in a rapid discharge of electricity, a, light, a lightning, a lightning uh, between opposite charges in the cloud or between the cloud and the ground. So, <clears throat> anyways, I think that this is coming through to me because it's supposed to, we're, we're supposed to use this to fight back against these evil motherfuckers, but, uh, excuse my language, I'm not in the best mood, um, so yeah, there's just some ideas. This is an idea for an attachment. So it's essentially an idea that could be, you know, you could attach a sword blade that could be heated to, so that could be even more. It'd be a, a super sharp, super sharp and strong sword that's also able to like heat at high temperatures so it could melt through things. It's like you guys have seen in the movies. Um, you'd have to have some type of a fucking enormous power source condensed into here. This would be like the size of a hilt. Um, then I'm also thinking about designing ways so that it, this hilt would be the, the one main thing that you would need. And then you would just have various attachments that you put onto the hilt um, so that you could have many different types of weapons. You know, you could put guns on there, like long barrels, short barrels. You could have, you know, longer ranged weapons and shorter ranged weapons. You could, you know, min like change it up so you could have blasts that are more widespread. As, and then you could have also have blasts that are more narrow based. Um, a lot of different things you could do. Um, so yeah, it's just an idea I'm working on. <clears throat> and um, yeah, there's an army of MKA ultra super soldiers programmed to kill us. And it came through to me that Obama is in control of this stuff. Um, and, you know, again, man, as I say these things, I'm, I'm not, I've not been a proponent for Kamala. I would have, I think it would have been better for humanity if Kamala won because uh, she isn't as good as fooling things. And because she's a Democrat and she's supposed to be more in line with, like, you know, the environment and shit, it would make it easier for me to, like, you know, to, to work with her. And it would also be easier for me to, like, show whether or not if these people, like, that they say they're about the environment, if they really are about the environment, then they should want to work with this project. So it, in some ways, it would make this project that much more easy to be fucking made, like, with the government, uh, because that's what they're all about. Uh, but because that organization was not put into, you know, at least so far, things can always change, um, which I wouldn't put it past them, but right now it's looking like they didn't win, so, and because people are so fucking selfish, just being real, dude, like, that's what Trump's largely about, so, like, a lot of people are going to be supportive of Trump and his selfishness, and they don't, I mean, of course, like, most people here in America have gas fucking guzzling vehicles, so they're not going to want to have to change their ways. They're going to want to continue putting fucking gas into their fucking cars. So anyways, man, um, I know some people think that the right dude won. And I mean, he did. I mean, he's the, there's a reason why he won. It's because humanity has largely been resistant to doing the things that are best for everything. We're, we're too self-centered. It is what it is. So this is why we got a self-centered dude elected because that's what we're all about. But just want you all to know, like, <laughs> doesn't mean he's the right dude for the job. Um, so, <clears throat> anyways, uh, all right. I love you guys. I'll take care. Bye.